Hi Sagittarius, this is your flame or is it the real thing? Reading, this is a deep dive into thoughts, feelings, and intentions of your person of interest. I'd like to welcome everyone who's new to the channel and I'd like to thank all my returning subscribers. Hope everyone's doing well. So let's look at this deep dive. We're going to do four rows of cards here. It's going to be thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions. It's going to be followed by the overall energy cards. So let's get started. All right, Sagittarius, let's jump into this reading and see what it really means for you. I do think the overview on this is very interesting. It's a very unique story. It will not be everyone's story. So if this does not resonate with you, please be sure to check out your moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. That being said, we're looking at their thoughts on the top row. Your person feels as though you are... Um, a status symbol, Sagittarius. Six of Wands, look at me. I'm with Sag. Sag is fabulous. Sag is whatever Sag is that makes them fabulous. You know, and it shows that they're coming in with Page of Cups energy. So this person could be literally younger than you. They could be less mature. They're coming in with a small offer of love, but they want to be seen with you, and that bothers me. At night, they worry about the relationship. You know, they're all caught up in their head. They can't stop thinking about you. They're obsessed with you. In their heart space, they're really, they have a very strong feeling of needing you, of wanting you. But I also get that they really try to lock down or put a bow tie or withhold or restrain their emotions in this relationship. So let's go look at this because I want to dive deep and we're going to look at this energy first of all of this person thinks you're a status symbol. So the fact that they think you're a status symbol, what they're not telling you with the queen or the uh, high priestess card is that they're still in a relationship with someone else. Now, it could be directly or indirectly. You can't really divorce a divorced ex-wife or a divorced ex-husband. They're always in your life. So I do think that there is a sense in your relationship that you're always going to be in a third-party situation because this person has an unhealthy attachment to someone else. They're juggling two, and they have fire in their belly for you, but that's not a lot of help to you, okay? Because juggling two is juggling two. And so if they're divorced from this person, they need to absolutely find their voice in being able to shut this person out and not make them a part of your relationship. When we look at how much they love you, Page of Cups, very innocent, very naive, it's not the kind of love that is typically long-lasting. It's more like a crush. I wouldn't call it love exactly. But this person holds back with their emotions. You know, I also feel as though they're dealing in a situation where they're still in love with a partner. I hate to say it, but that's what it looks like. This is a marriage card. And so if you're not married to this person, they look like they're still in love with another person and that that person is a person they're juggling, and that they're not, they're keeping it a secret from you. That's what I get. I feel as though they like to say, woe is me, but the problem is, is that they're still involved at a level that's unhealthy, and they're holding back, okay? So when we look at what keeps them awake at night, they feel as though you deserve everything in the world, and that you're going to walk away from them, and that you're going to leave them in the cold. And they think that because they know that their activity, if you discover it, is not going to be deemed in a friendly manner by you. 
when we look at their emotions, you know, we see this King of Swords, very aloof, very cold facade. This could be Aquarius energy, somebody who stays in their head all the time. But we do have the Lover's card. They do see you as a soulmate. They feel in their heart space that they love you. Again, the Six of Wands energy, they want to be with you. And I mean, they feel like it's really imperative to their happiness that they throw caution to the winds and that they be seen with you in public. They want to be attached to you in some way that brings them prestige. All right, so what we have in terms of their heart space, the strength card says that they are a person who loves very intensely. The heat of passion is running through this. This is Leo energy. So this person, there's two cards of Leo energy. So they see you as a hot romantic partner, but again, very aloof, very calm, very cool, very collected. But in, what they're not telling you is that they feel very much at risk with you. They feel as though you could have anybody you want, Sagittarius, and that at the end of the day, they feel very insecure, very nervous. They keep secrets from you with the High Priestess and the Moon card. When we look at the Ten of Wands reversed, we see a person who is overwhelmed, and here we go. We have the Three of Swords. That's a third party situation. They're stuck. And we see temperance. They're really trying to use their sense of gratitude, their sense of balance, the higher power. They're trying to find spiritually how to move forward so that they can love you more and be less sort of in this space that feels like a personal hell to them, caught between two worlds, basically. When we look at the judgment card, so now we see judgment of divorce, releasing something, letting go. That is their intention. Again, the Nine of Swords energy repeats itself from this location here to the, new, the future, in essence. They're slow walking their way towards you. They have clarity that they want you. So again, I feel that for many of you, there is a divorce situation going on. There is another breakup that's shadowing your relationship. All right, so the magician card. The person feels like they can manifest you. Again, they're coming in with page energy. Pages don't manifest. They also are frustrated because they haven't manifested you. And equal give and take. Um, they think of this sort of magical concept that, well, you know, you have more money or you have more assets, so we don't need equal give and take. We'll just share the wealth, right? Your wealth. So it's, it's a weird energy. It could be just emotional, but I don't think it is. I really don't. So when we look at the Five of Swords energy, we're looking at somebody who cannot punch their way out of a paper bag in terms of of dealing with exterior persons or forces. Again, for many of you, I think this is somebody that they divorced. I think this person may use children with all the page energy as a leverage to really control this person. Again, we get another marriage card next to the death card, and we get a lot of conflict. So, Sagittarius, if you're married to this person, you're probably going through a bitter divorce. Uh, but they don't want to let go of you if you're married to them. If you're not married to them, they don't want to let go of you because they seem to be tangled up with somebody else who's making them a bit crazy, but that person is also affecting your relationship. So when we look at their actions, we see somebody who is upright. The Two of Swords means making no decision. Reverse says that they are investing in the relationship with you. They will make you an offer. That could be an engagement ring. And they're very defensive about the status of what they can give you. So it doesn't show that they're really planning this, but they are, okay? So now we have the world card and it's reversed, okay? The world card is reversed. So again, you're getting stagnancy. I'm really not seeing this, this situation change a lot. They do want to work in partnership with you. 
they want to heal, and they see you as a beautiful Aries queen. Queens get married. This person's coming in with a lot of page energy. The Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse, so now we see that the timing is not right. This person has a lot of options. They keep their options open. I have to tell you, I think this person texts other people, and I think they try to hide it. I think they take their phone with them wherever they go. Um, but the Six of Swords, it looks as though they feel as though you're going to move away from them. They feel as though they're going to lose you through the activity and the complications of this relationship. So let's look and see what the messages of love say. So they seem helpless to do anything. They look as though they love you, but they don't give you the, the benefit of knowing that they love you. It looks like a very lopsided relationship. Badge. Here you are with this beautiful temperance energy hanging around and the Three of Swords. But what I do say is that this person, the truth be told, they're very spiritual, but they seem to have a habit of repeating mistakes in relationships that go round and round and round like a dog chasing its tail. So let's see why we have this person here in this spiritual energy. Leap of faith. Well, they want the leap of faith. They want you to take the leap of faith. Apology. You can expect an apology. The apology that you want to hear. Good. You deserve that. And round and round. What does that mean? Trust. It is safe to trust the situation, but I would keep my eyes peeled. I would really be very watchful. Let's look and see what, um, well, let's see. This is such an island time wellness. I don't know why I have a hard time remembering this, but let's see. Let's see what the energy is. Kisses, unconditionally loving that. <laughs> My mouth is dry. Ah, no water, okay. Basically, affection and falling in love. So they do love you very much. But I feel that they don't know how to handle another situation with an ex. And I don't like the fact that they're immature. I don't like the fact that they always have this idea of juggling people or multiple people. Or I can have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and lots of people that I text. So abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss the snake completion enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman and that's what i saw this person just always seems to have drama round and round and it's caused by the fact that they make excuses for themselves and they don't talk about the fact that their other relationships are not good because of their own actions. That's what they're keeping secret from you. They're sort of playing the victim card from what I see. So let's see what the, um, the fairy oracle has. The fixer, okay. Don't be a fixer. The message here is don't whitewash. Don't whitewash this. This is what you think it is. It looks as though you're very clear headed about what you see. You know, you're hoping that it changes will not make this better. Let's see. Let's see what the um, Heart of the Fairy Oracle advises you. What's the advice? The rocks. Oh, man. Okay. So the rocks is a card of a king gone bad. The rocks is a person or a king that doesn't behave with the dignity and the responsibilities and the actions of a king. This is a king that's gone wrong. He's a bad king. He maintains a harem. He maintains, he's a hard dog to keep on the porch. That's what my grandmother would have said, a hard dog to keep on the porch. So I'm going to leave it with you there. I would really say, Sag, that you may be better off putting your energy elsewhere because when I go fling or a thing, 
this is sort of a creepy thingy flingy. And so I, I hate to say that to you, but I really see this person as not being, um, they may not be worth the investment. You'll have to decide that. And again, if this is not your reading, please do not take it personally. Just go check out your moon rising and Venus. I don't think this is a reading for a lot of people. I think this is for a few out there who need to hear the message. So, sending you love. Take care, Sage. Bye-bye.